Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. I decided to just quickly do, and I think there's a lot of videos that already shows this, but I saw a comment this morning on one of our local groups where someone said they would like to know how to really fussy cut. And you know, fussy cutting is so um, relaxing for most people um, that it's just something that you can, if you only have one minute, minute to spare, you can just quickly cut out a picture. So I normally buy, um, if I buy something from on Etsy, um, normally it's something that I have to fussy cut. So I bought these. Um, and these are the labels that I really like and just a little some flowers so when you have something like this what i would do um well there's different ways to keep these you can either cut all out and store them in different holders or at your la in your label holder or wherever you keep your stuff or you can just keep it as is and cut out the one that you like so for this experiment, I'm just going to cut this. Now, normally, if I have a large thing like this, a page like this, I will cut out the, the... The most important thing is to have scissors with a sharp tip and a fine tip. Um, there's a lot of embroidery kind of scissors that you can use. Or in this case, I has, have my Tim Holtz snip snip. Um, I've even used Tim Holtz's large, the large scissors with um, success. So the most important thing is to move your paper, not your scissors. You can decide if you want a white line. If you don't want the white line around it, then you can cut. There's a piece with a white line on it. If you don't like that, you can just cut on the line. Now this is what they call fussy cutting and it, as you can see I turn the paper all the time. I hold the scissors and turn the paper. You've got, there's a lot of fine scissors, well, scissors with fine tip that you can, that you will find. Um, the embroidery ones are normal, normally the ones that have the fine, fine tips. And that's what you need. Especially if you're going to do the next week. Okay, so there's the piece with the, if you want to be, if you want a flower or label or whatever with the white around it. And these are cut on the line. So that's all that I do there. Now, if I have a page with flowers like this, I will also cut them loose. It's more difficult to cut with a whole page in your hand than with just a little piece. Again, this one has got a line around it. As you can see, I think this is for the cutting machines like the Brother and Crickets. But if you're going to cut it, you can either cut on the line like this. Again, turning the paper, not the scissors. Maybe this will help some of you that's having difficulty. Okay, so you can either use it now like this, if you like. If you don't, this page has got the smaller flowers. So in this case, I'm going to leave a little just a little white space around and you can do this in front of TV you can actually do this while chatting to a friend whether it's on the phone or if it's a voice note voice call or whatever so you can as long as you have your hands free <laughs> someone contacted me this morning and asked how can she cut flowers, cut out flowers without using her hands 
or a scissors. <laughs> so the only thing that I know to is an electronic machine, but then you, yeah, you can't, can do that as well, but um, fussy cutting is, is relaxing and it's, as I said, you can do that while chatting and while, while visiting. All right, so there it is. So all you need is a picture, scissors with a sharp tip, and just a little turning your hand wherever the scissors, well, wherever the picture goes. So I hope this helps you. Um, enjoy cutting your flowers and your little pictures, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.